Bill Weir is in Punta Gorda, and Bill, you spent time with another group of rescuers, volunteers, who call themselves the Cajun Navy, right? They got that name because of their response at Katrina, and what you saw and did with them is just stunning. Yeah, Poppy, uh, one of the best tips I ever got for covering stories like this comes from Mr. Rogers, uh, mm -hmm. who taught my kids that when you see these horrible, scary images and these events, look for the helpers. Uh, the Cajun Navy has been part of that descriptor. They have been amazing helpers. There's other groups now that have started since then. Yesterday they joined forces and I went along for the ride. After Ian's violent visit, this is what's left of the Causeway Bridge from mainland Florida to Sanibel Island. And this is the now unpassable bridge to Pine Island. So for residents of both, boats and helicopters are the only exit options. And while Coast Guard Blackhawks and Chinooks buzzed over the barrier islands on the grim day after, two of the only boats in this part of the Gulf Dean, 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 carry civilian volunteers from the Cajun Navy. Those good old boys with bass boats and big hearts. Give we us the name of an individual or tell us somebody to go pick up. We'll try to go get them. And a newer outfit known as Project Dynamo led by a former military intelligence officer more accustomed to saving Americans from Russians in Ukraine or the Taliban in Afghanistan. When Americans are in trouble in bad spots, usually we do uh, war zones and conflict zones, but Hurricane Ian qualifies. And you're named after Churchill's operation. Correct. To get the, the troops off, off, off of the Dunkirk. Dunkirk. Yeah. And, uh, and now here we are, we're gonna rescue some people off of Sanibel, which is cut off from the world right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it's uh, very apropos. Trying to help people out if they need help. You need help? You want to get out of here? I'm in the desert. Give us a minute. We'll come up. We'll, yeah. come, we'll come there. We follow the cry for help ashore on Sanibel to find a gentleman eager to accept the boat lift, but unable to convince his better half. To go. We're going. To where? Fort Myers. Fort Myers. <laughs> the bridge is out. The bridge is knocked out. I'm not, I'm not ready to go. A cursory stroll around this part of Sanibel reveals plenty of hazards, like the hiss of natural gas spewing from a broken tank. But in one of the most coveted zip codes in Florida, the construction mostly held up, which is in stark contrast to Pine Island. Look at this one, absolutely flattened, especially the mobile homes of the working class and retirees living in St. James City. Hey, ma'am, are you okay? It's your daughter called us. I can imagine. When their phone cut out early in the storm, the grandchildren of Nancy and Robert Sharon were so scared, they called the Cajun Navy and Project Dynamo and begged them to go check for proof of life. I heard it that they weren't gonna do anything after the bridge closed down. But my granddaughters are in Ohio and she was crying hysterical when I talked to her on the phone. She thought we were thinking that you gotten hurt, and I said, no, there's no service. There's yeah. no service. So, that's you know. the thing, the uncertainty brings so much fear and, and, and stress. I, I yeah. knew it, and that's, that had me more worried than what was going on at the time, because I knew my family was worried. It's terrible what we're going through. There's a terrible set of circumstances. The destruction is unbelievable. The suffering is uh, is going to be bad. Hundreds of people are dead right now. We just haven't found him yet. So the you know this is true carnage. It's a war zone. One, two, three. You're up. Thank you, gentlemen. But at the same time, I'm really happy that we could be here to help. What was also inspiring is that Brian and those guys had so much empathy for the woman who did not want to leave. She wasn't ready. She might still be in shock, doesn't realize how untenable the situation is on, on Sanibel for more than a few days. So give her space, maybe check on her uh, the next day. It speaks to the human element of this story, the psychology of it all. And also in these divided times, it's so refreshing that, you know, they have the ethos of sort of a fire department, he says. You know, you call 911, your house is on fire. They don't ask you who you voted for or how the fire started. They just come and get you. And so, so many folks who either couldn't evacuate or chose not to, right now is not the time to scold them. Um, they're dealing with it as best they can as well. But Jim Poppy, I'm telling you, um, 
these moments bring out the best of human nature sometimes. It's so great to see. Of course, the worst we have to be wary of in coming days, but these guys, if you're interested, uh, projectdynamo.org or cajunrescue.org, uh, even a few bucks will help them gas up those boats. Yeah, Cajun Rescue is, is one of the constants of all these storms going way back to, to Katrina, so it's nice to see them out there again and, and you with them, Bill. Thanks so much.